The overcrowding rate in Ghana's prisons has been observed to be alarming and essentially infringes upon the right of both incarcerated and remand prisoners. In 2008, Ghana took a giant step to introduce the Justice for All program to adjudicate remand prisoner cases by setting up mobile in-prison courts that provided free legal services for remand prisoners. Figures from the Ghana Prison Services indicate the Justice for All program has helped reduce the remand prisoner population from 33% in 2007 to 8.06% as at March 2024. Nevertheless, the convict population is increasing steadily. On the back of this, an engagement with stakeholders in the justice delivery sector to decongest the convict prisoners led to the introduction of the in-prison paralegal program. It's not every case that goes to court that are uh, right. I mean that uh, the rulings are in order. There are some of them that we call a miscarriage of justice. Others could be excessive sentencing. And the law has made paved way for redress. So when you are going on appeal and you don't have money to get the services of a lawyer, what do you do? Then the law says, Article 19, 2F, uh, says uh, you have the right to represent yourself. But what knowledge do you have? That is why the paralegals are coming in to assist uh, in this breath, to be able to get them some better submission to get it done. After a successful piloting of the program at the Nsawon Medium Security Prisons, a paralegal office has been set up at the Kumasi Central Prisons. DDP Eric Einu Ansa is the Ashanti Regional Prisons Commander. The prison is almost always congested, despite the regular transfer of some convicted inmates to other prisons. Hence, any activity which seeks to legally reduce the number of inmates in our custody is highly welcomed. To this end, the in-prison uh, paralegal project, which seeks to offer some of our inmates a second chance for their cases to be re-looked at and has been fairly successful so far, is highly appreciated and accepted by our inmates. Court of Appeal Judge Justice Dennis Dominic Ejay it's positive the intervention will enhance justice delivery. There are some people who are in custody who, whose appeals are likely to succeed. But because they don't have legal assistance, they don't have lawyers, they languish in jail. That is why if you go to court, most of the, most of the appeals that come become successful. So in that sense, we encourage people to appeal. Selected prison officers and inmates have been receiving training to help convict prisoners appeal their cases on self-representation.